everyone, welcome to Afi Channel. We're all about celebrating our technology and creativity. For those of you who come here the first time, my name is Paris. Every week we're posting new videos about what's new in the virtual space. I try to share my own personal virtual experience and then what's new in the world changed my perspective in so many ways. As digital creator or as audience who wants to see who are seeking for new experience. Since I started this channel, I feel like I've tried so many things the first time. For example, first time a VTuber, first time going to virtual markets. And then now for the last couple of days, during my free time, I was reading my first visual novel. I don't know if you have watched that. It's called Out Days, uh, Beyond Kernel. It's my first visual novel, although they had the first one. I didn't purchase the first one. I haven't read that yet because mostly it's in Japanese. I wasn't sure if I would like this one, um, but I, at least I can listen to English audio. So it helps me to understand uh, a story better. And I also sometimes use Chinese subtitle to read, but I didn't really like that experience. So I can't, I stopped it. I just went through the whole, whole visual novel by listening and try to immerse myself in. And I really want to talk about the whole experience. I think in a lot of way, it kind of um, give me a new, fresh perspective on how VR game and film, all this medium evolved into one. Because for me, this visual novel is kind of like a VR film that I've watched. It's like a longer version of some of the VR film I've watched from Sundance Film Festival. So if you're interested in knowing this novel or just the, the concept of visual novel and how I think it could change the way we create things in the future. Before I start, maybe I should discuss about how I think is a good film. I'm a filmmaker and I'm really just in visual storytelling. Like I'm interested to know how the director tell a story from every frame and the dialogue and then the storyline like it consists of everything like every frame is important the music is important the design the characters i personally think if you are seeking for a great film about character i don't think a visual novel is the best way because if you want to watch a good film about a character develop develop the character I think you're more like a witness watching as an outsider to see how the character evolve and then uh, change the dramatic um, dialogues that the clashing with the two characters or maybe some of the really good films it doesn't really have this huge dramatic scene but at the end of the film you feel like your world has, has expanded that you realize some deep meaning from this one, on, one hour and a half film, you feel emotionally attached. I don't think the visual novel has reached that yet to touch you that deeply. I personally don't think it's there yet. But what is fascinating about visual novel is the way you make a choice as one of the main character. I remember back, I think around 2007, I bought my first choose your end like choose your fate choose the ending kind of book it's like a real book mm, i remember it's like some kind of love story i got attracted completely because the concept of this book that i can choose the like for example do you want to go out with this guy and you choose yes or no and if you choose yes then you can turn to the page 20 for example I remember I was like, when I was at the bookstore, I saw this book and that was the first time I realized when you're reading a book, you can actually choose the ending. I got really excited. I read a book and I hated it. <laughs> I, I'm not going to mention the book's name, but I really don't like it because it take out all these juicy, um, meaningful parts of developing a character. So you'll feel like you're just choose the choices, but you know, in the choice sometimes is not the most important things. A lot of time is not yes or no answer, right? So I didn't like that. So I haven't, I didn't really, I don't, I don't really uh, 
like the idea i kind of forget about the idea of choosing the ending of your own story and then i remember the second one that is a movie also you can choose the storyline is the black mirror the movie called bandersnatch i don't know if you have watched that it's on netflix i also don't like it that much it's not mm, it's get to the point that you feel like do i really make necessary need to make this decision like it just really doesn't really help you to get emotionally engaged with the character because you feel kind of detached and you have to make the decision based on your own personality i don't know if that makes sense like you are not the character but you know you need to make choice for the character <laughs> and the ending is very sudden um like you feel like it's it's kind of detached right away because it doesn't really help with the story going anyway that wasn't like the best i i also was very excited to watch that film and then at the end i got disappointed again and then too i watched this visual novel that i i realized this game on oculus and then my partner told me it's a visual novel that words kind of like get my attention because visual novel with vr game <laughs> also there's a lot of like good music i think the character is like uh singing and then there, there are a lot of cool visuals in there so i was thinking i must like that i think i will try but this time i was like trying with spectacle kind of um mind <laughs> i wasn't like too excited about it because i'm afraid it was gonna go to the wrong way i have to say this visual novel so far is the best I've played so far and better than the movie like uh, interacting movie and interactive book so what happened with this story is you are you're playing as the main character who's a design human and her owner is this uh, blind girl her name is Coco even when I say this name right now I feel like <laughs> I'm somehow connected to this girl it's very weird it's, it's pretty fascinating because what is different than the interactive book and movie is that you are immersed into this VR environment and then you feel this girl talking in your head so it's very close to your head it's in your headset right so it's like your mind is talking and the decision you're making in this whole experience is not yes or no it's more like how many percent you agree with this decision or are you hesitating with this decision um so so i think every I, right now i only had a one story line like i only play one storyline because that's what i feel deepest the deepest connection with like every decision i make carefully and so i feel like every decision i'm making is it's not really forced to make it's really come from inside for example uh, I remember it, they're asking about um, when the, the main character, this human, a design human, Chloe, she tried to um, she tried to save the owner. But then the, the decision, these choices they gave, it's not like should I choose to to save her or not save her. It's more about should I convince other people to. To tell them we should save her or convince them that or hesitating like not telling how i feel so it's it's very subtle decision that normal person will make because when we make decision we don't go like okay let's do this let's do that most of the time is more like should i keep this a secret when you keep this secret it's gonna affect certain kind of ending of your choices so anyway i just find it is very interesting to see how how stories are developed through little decisions even at the end i wasn't too surprised about ending and i'm not 100 percent satisfied with the ending i have i will try again with other choices see what's the other ending but I do feel this connection, this emotional connection, and I really like that. I suggest if you watch this visual, visual novel, go from beginning to end 
try not to stop in between even you do try not to leave it too long in between because it's not like a book because for a book you can just open a book close it with a bookmark bookmark and once you open you can just go back to the story right away this is like a movie right is a game is a movie more towards a movie is I would say, at least for me, it feels the ending is a bit too sudden. But I think if I go from the beginning to the end, then stop, I will feel more more attached to to the result. That's how I feel. I'm not sure about you, uh, but I like to hear what you think. It gets some actions, and then it's about the human, a designer human have human emotion to be attached with this owner. So it's definitely some kind of love form inside and because of this visual novel and all the VR films interactive books and films that I've watched it got me think as digital creators um, you know how when we start our business like six years ago I remember I was doing a lot of documentary style films for business or artists and then slowly people start to ask you about motion graphics, like special effects. Because I think once the, as the technology evolves every year, now it's almost like every day, there's new thing pop up. Businesses on business and individuals really try to use all this new technology to engage with audience. So it got me thinking maybe one day, I'm not sure when, but maybe one day, our clients or people who are interested in VR will ask to will ask people like us to make a um, game, visual novel, VR film, to let people play with the story. Then the whole concept is like sponsored by company. At this point, it's all my imaginations. I'm not sure how things will evolve, and that's the best part about having this channel is when I look even back five months ago when I started, a lot of things have changed. I was imagining that a uh, toothbrush can be played with a lot of people and then that multi brush started. I was imagining like having meeting in the virtual reality, seeing a uh, going conference in VR. Yeah, and then now uh, this morning, I just attended the Microsoft keynotes conference about this Microsoft mesh. So you can like, entering a space with your headset and seeing the hologram of like some uh, keynote speaker and talk about their pro project with the 3D immersive, completely immersive VR uh, project right in front of your, your face. It's like you are immersed in their project that you're talking about. They're not just showing a PowerPoint anymore. All these had changed so much that's what i'm so excited about making this channel and keep going forward with it and to witness and uh experiments with different fun part fun things especially with the creativity part so yeah thank you so much for watching my video and if you like my video please thumb up and please subscribe our channel for every new updates and let's witness this together and let's um um, talk about it, discuss it all the, uh, together on our Discord server or just on, underneath the video. Recently, we've got a lot of comments. So people really have a lot of questions and their ideas to share. Please share more. I'd like to hear how you feel about all this new technology and arts and all the creative things that are happening with our human mind. And yeah, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.